servers now? Yeah. Okay. So I am not a PC player. And on the way over here to the podcast studio, we were talking about this. Mm-hmm. I, I personally don't think it's that big of a deal. And you're a PC player, you, you but you also have a PlayStation. Yeah. To play devil's advocate, the whole issue is PlayStation originally wanted anyone who owned Helldivers on Steam to make a PlayStation account to play. Mm-hmm. Or it was going to come out. Yeah. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's PlayStation wanting the more accounts to show on their reports. And, and that's fine. They say it's for security, and maybe it is definitely for more security. If you have more security there and Steam, yeah. cool, whatever. Every company gets hacked. Um, I I just, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I've it, made so many damn accounts on everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I- being a gamer at this point, I feel like at some point, if you want to play whatever is mainstream, you are going to be making several yep. different accounts, whether it's Origin or yeah. UB Uplay or um, what's the other one? Even Bethesda had their own separate launcher. I do remember that, Epic yeah. Games has their own launcher and making your own account. And they still sell their products on Steam. And when you buy them on Steam, you still have to log in. So if I buy like the Division 2 yep. on Steam, you I have still have to it. download yeah. Ubisoft and still log in and make an account. And um, a lot of PC players, I feel like since, depending on who you are, if you aren't into those kind of yeah. games, I definitely see the issue with making like a PSN account, especially from like Sony as a company, which has had notorious hacks and personal information being leaked. That's just like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much asking to sign away your identity, Mm -hmm. which at some point devil's advocate though, I I do want to, I'm not defending Sony fully, but yeah, I guarantee steam's had leaks. We're just, I haven't, I didn't look it up. If you keep talking, I'll look it up though to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll keep. Go- I'll go ahead and keep talking about it while you look it up because I definitely think it's interesting. Um, but if you're a PC player, the the big issue about PSN is that on Steam, Hell Divers was advertised to everyone without it, right? But if you were in a country that did not support PlayStation Network, it ended up you just couldn't play any PlayStation games. And so Steam, to try to cover themselves up, they pulled the game in every country yeah. that you couldn't make a PSN in. Which I think that that's the one thing Sony should have just addressed. Like, if you're in those countries, we're not going to make you make an account. I think that was the dumb thing from them. Yeah. To leave into this, though, to do the research, 77,000 Steam accounts were hacked uh, 11 months ago. Oh. So they did have a breach. It wasn't their first breach, but they have had a breach. And then uh, mm. Microsoft has also had a breach, too. So... Devil's advocate, every company gets hacked. Yeah. I think everyone does try to remember PlayStation getting hacked the worst on the PS3, which mm. that was the worst one that they've ever had. Definitely been yeah. fixed. It hasn't happened again. But to uh, wrap around to the original yeah. point was that if you were in these countries, I th- and it wasn't just like, oh, you know, little, little place over here across the world yeah. couldn't play Helldivers anymore. It was 170 countries. Which is a lot. <laughs> it's a big chunk of yeah. the world. And um, Do you think they'll try and bring it back? Like the account thing? The account thing? Yeah. Maybe, but I hardly doubt it because now they're marketing the game again in those countries. Yeah. Without the requirement to make a PlayStation mm-hmm. account. If anything, what they might do is that it might just kick Sony in the butt to be like, all right, why are these countries not able to have access to us, right? Yeah. And provide better, a better consumer... Um, mm-hmm. Marketplace. Well, yeah, marketplace for those people. So, yeah. No, I, I agree. Uh, I just... You had to play devil's advocate of that same no. thing. So, with that, though, all these controversies all stem from one thing, microtransactions and greed. And like you said earlier, AAA gaming has gotten more expensive. So we do have to look at that. Like this yeah. is them trying to recoup their cost. You don't know how a game's going to do single player. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which I just spoke about, is one of the lowest selling Final Fantasy games of all time. Where the original game, the remake, was one of the highest selling Final Fantasy games of all time. So it's it, the big question kind of goes to this is it's like studios have these ideas and... I always believe that if you make a great game, 
eight out of 10 times, people are going to buy it because they're yeah. craving that next thing, especially that craving that next conversation. Helldivers 2 succeeded, not because it's a live service game, because it's a great game yeah. and it's a fun game. Yeah. If anyone who's played it, you could see like, even though it is considered a live service game, they do their models so differently. So well, you don't have to buy anything if yeah. you don't want. And it was like, you play a game, right? And you could find the premium currency that cost money. You could find it in your match. And mm -hmm. like for me, I managed to play enough Helldivers to farm up enough to continuously get whatever the the next war bond is, yeah. the battle pass. Right? Which which is cool. Like it, it's cool for me. Uh, mm -hmm. I love that they do that. But like you look at a Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. I thought the combat was fun, but it was repetitive. Yeah. And that and that's the biggest thing that if if they would have just gone and made a four player co op sing or co op story game and that's what they focused in on i think the game probably would have done better oh yeah if you would have had Definitely. like a new version of like army of two but instead it's army of four of mm. the four justice league members or four suicide squad members excuse me be pretty damn soon yeah i think a lot of these companies mix up live service as an opportunity to finish the game or to drip the content into the game later on mm -hmm. you know not to deliver a full product and that's another release. thing Helldivers divers was cheaper it was the same thing of you know it felt like a full game 